does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need hello sir yes uh, sir so valentines day is coming for the past few days um, in our college there has been a, an environment of romance and every day there is a new celebration there is teddy day then rose day and then chocolate day and we often see that these um, loving couples and uh, romantic relation who are in a romantic relationship they end their relationship in a very bitter way so i wanted to know why the relationships that start with such kicking romance and teddy bears and roses and everything and they end in a such in such an bitter and ugly way and what is the secret of a long and a loving relationship a loving relationship one wants that i can understand why does one want it to be long mm -hmm. and that's the reason why the splits are often so bitter you know this this uh, yearning for length huh is a desire for security which basically means possession when you say that you want something to be with you for a long period ideally an infinite period what you are saying is that you want to control that thing and control is violence is it not yes it is and control is fear and where there is fear obviously there is no love hmm? so if in love you are looking towards the future there is surely very little love huh? if in love you are looking to formalize or legalize the relationship again there is very little love love has to be a thing that scoffs at future hmm love is a commitment to be better love is when you look upwards hmm love is the way you look at the moon upwards love is the way you look at the sky hmm? right love is being with that that makes you tilt your head like this oh, i'm looking at at something at someone far bigger and higher than me and you know when your head is thrown back that's when your head has bowed down 
because now you are looking at someone higher than yourself and that's what bowing down is huh? you see this you 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 are standing in front of the mighty himalayas and how do you look at them like this ha huh? head hanging no head tilted hmm upwards love is the upward glance hmm and if the thing you are looking at is actually bigger than you then it will make you forget all your desires so love and desire cannot go together please understand this the moon or the mountain should be able to make you forget yourself so love is that which makes you forget yourself right you're looking at the moon and you are gone and if you are gone where are your desires they too are gone are they not now where is the future the future has been dismissed because i do not exist that's what love must do to you it must make you disappear love is not something you can nibble at enjoy the taste of and swallow no there is not something you can consume there is not something that tastes delicious there is something that does not let you remain if it's not making you forget yourself it's not love ha huh? ah on on so how can you remember a particular day as the day of love love is when you forget all days and all nights love is when you forget that even you are if you are not then there is not even a birthday let there let alone a valentines day is all this sounding to surreal to uh, abstract no how do i help it you see you go to the other because the other appears attractive and the other appears attractive because you already have a hunger for stuff the stuff that you want you see there in the other so you go to the other to consume stuff if the stuff has been uh, um, consumed then the other is of no use if the other is unable to provide stuff for your consumption even then the other is of no use so how can there be any life in the relationship you just want to sink your teeth into the other and that's also what the other wants so two people biting at each other yeah has to be a very violent teddy no बदमाश भालू वी नो ऑफ बियर्स दैट गो मैड वी डू नॉट नो लव लाइफ इज an opportunity to know love 
in the name of love all we have is glands secretions hormones genitals procreation the insatiable hunt for experience all that obviously has to come to a dirty end and that's what it comes to the fellow did not learn love in in 80 years of his life and you think love can be a thing of one special day not possible rather infantile to nurture such a thought what is the boy coming to you for what is the girl looking at the boy for is it all not so obvious come on yes of course so so and these two are not to be ridiculed they are to be pitied because not only will they not get what they are looking for they are also laying the ground for a lot of suffering don't you see that the moment you you wish someone a long lasting relationship what have you said about the nature of their relationship they're going to be binded to each other for a long time it's just that what i'm saying will sound very scary because we are people of fear we just do not know what it means to live in freedom and we suffer from terrible uh, feeling of inferiority they go somewhere no that's little right so that's what inferiority and so the ego is quite confident that if it does not latch to the other the other will be gone and therefore the relationship has to be made long lasting the moment you try to put a future into a relationship the relationship is already dead so what does that mean great relationships don't have a future no great relationships don't care for a future and these are two different things great relationships do not formalize a future great relationships are not ideas in the mind they are not preplanned things happen and things happen in ways that you cannot even uh, uh, think of ways beyond the mind ways not of desire but of destiny but here you are 6 months into the relationship you you start yelling oh let's think of our future 
Huh? What about us? Let's talk of our relationship. And all that is very normal. And very, very sad. It does not have to be this way. A young person is a fresh possibility. It does not have to be nipped in the bud. Uh, but that's how even the greatest opportunities are lost. No? Every damn shopkeeper knows your desire, right? The roses will be at a premium. The teddies will run out of stock. Even hotel rooms will be difficult to get. A simple table in a restaurant will become so Elusive. Today is what? Twelfth. You want to just go out all by yourself on the fourteenth night. Impossible. You'll have to have reservations done today. And I'm not sure even today is not too late. So that's the quality of our love. Every shopkeeper knows the, the, the very fabric of our love. So they all prepare it well in advance. Real love is unknown even to the lover. How can it be known to the shopkeeper? Real love offers you no assurance, no security. It's bigger than you, you see. It will not come to offer you a discount. Do the mountains bend down to greet you? No, they don't. But our love is such a little thing. Hmm? And the word relationship is such a such a trap, unfortunately. It does not have to be, but it is. If you really wish someone well, do not wish them a relationship uh, in the normal sense of the word. Let, let people relate to each other. Mm? Let people relate to the right one. Right? Learn, develop, know. If, if you if you are a woman really knowing a man will help you know yourself better knowing the other can be a way towards self knowledge good fine but thinking that the other uh, is a means to satisfy your desires Desires that in themselves are, are quite hollow and pitiable, all that is no good.
I don't know whether any of this that I am saying makes sense in the kind of world we are living in. Right? In this world, uh, people are supposed to pick a job, pick a girl, breed kids, have insurance, enjoy certain pleasures, then spend some time in the hospital and then just be dusted. Uh, that's the way of this world. In this world, is it possible for a girl to really know a boy, for for a woman to really, really intimately relate to a man, oh, very difficult. But uh, mm. but if that doesn't happen, then is life worth living? Not not quite. Mm. I'm talking of the two genders because you're talking of the Valentine's Day. Uh, obviously love is uh, not person specific, not gender specific, not something that is confined to a certain age. In a nutshell, all that is nonsense. Hmm? So, uh, you are born to do much better than that. Hmm? And if you have someone who takes all these days etc. too seriously, then uh, avoid. Just avoid. A uh, very good evening, sir. Myself, Sarthi. Uh, adding to the same question what Chetna asked, uh, I have watched a few of your videos on Valentine's Day itself. And uh, I was going through a few of the media reports which claim that uh, some of the Hindu outfits in Mumbai are going to observe the upcoming Valentine's Day as a cow hug day. I repeat, as a cow hug day. Um, you have won the uh, most influential vegan award from PETA last year. And uh, at the same time, you always talk a lot about the meaning of true love and uh, compassion towards the animals, towards the cows, towards the rabbits, etc. Et My question to you is that uh, it's quite very possible the, that the... Um, motto behind uh, hugging the cows on this very particular day it's it's quite very possible that it's it may be very good but according to you though you have said that there's no one particular day for love but can there be a more compassionate way for uh, celebrating Feb upcoming february 14. Yeah. pre-teens do all these things you know Katie wants to tease John so she goes to Jack and hugs him all this is just to turn John envious and make him make him uh, feel lonely and uh, ignored so does Katie really love Jack? No. So, so do we really love the cow? You 
you do not want the girl to hug the boy so you are telling the girl to hug the cow poor cow and the cow never asked for that hug in all this where is the consent of the cow do not become jack if somebody is coming to you just to annoy someone else do not offer yourself for a hug unfortunately the poor cow has no choice and we'll have a barrage of pics streaming in and videos people hugging a reluctant cow the cow is somehow trying to make her way to greener pastures it's a bull she wants Yes. Nonsense. There is no compassion in this. This is not about the cow. This is just cultural reactionism of the pre-teen variety. I said that's the kind of maturity such things have. If all animals are to be loved, such a wonderful thing. why only the cow secondly why only on the 14th of feb ha huh? and we know of ample cow lovers who enjoy their chicken this won't do the cow is indeed lovely and i had the opportunity to be recorded while talking to a cow that was in rishikesh it was a long conversation and a beautiful one very special and magnificent creatures they are but they have to be taken as representatives of all flora and fauna you cannot uh, be selectively loving towards a cow and that love has to outlast the 14th of feb this is disrespectful even towards the cow you know if kitty goes to jack just to annoy john is this respectful towards even jack no jack should refuse all this no 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 don't come to me on a recoil that's how we all do right the moment you break up you are so hungry you start looking for another plate for a new relationship hmm people start searching for a new relationship once they are ha ah, ha ah. i wish we had true compassion i wish we we really loved the cow if we really loved the cow you know what is the first thing we'll do drop all dairy do you really love the cow drop all dairy this moment stop all this milk business must stop if you really love the cow so the cow hug day should be the day all dairy industry should be permanently terminated you very well know that the milk and the beef are very closely related and you all probably do not know what all is done to the cow 
to get you your glass of milk. The cow is very unwilling to be milked. Any creature would be. Common sense, right? You have a female mammal. Why would she want to exist to provide milk to you, another species? So hug the cow and liberate the cow. We never think of what happens to the male calf, do we? We are talking of the cow, right? The female calf becomes the cow. What happens to the male calf? You don't want to talk of it. You don't want to, you don't want to ask, how is the cow able to yield so much milk? The milk can come only when the cow is first of all made pregnant. And how is she impregnated? You don't want to know that. You just want to have a holy image, a romantic image, a juvenile kind of caricature you carry. Oh, there is the cow and the cow is so happy. In her udders, she is carrying milk for mankind. Why will she do that? No common sense? She is carrying milk for her baby. And the baby is most often killed at the time of birth itself so that you can have the milk. And the cow cannot be a milk supplier all her life. Just like the human female after a certain age, she cannot give birth and therefore no milk. Have you ever inquired what happens to the cow after that? Have you ever inquired how come India is the biggest exporter of beef? And a lot of that beef, by the way, comes from Uttar Pradesh. Yes, cow beef is difficult and therefore not so much. But then most of the milk that you take is anyway buffalo milk. So the beef too is buffalo beef. Basically it means wherever the milk will come from, that animal will turn into beef. Because it is the buffalo that is the principal supplier of milk, so it's buffalo beef. But we don't want to know all those things. We just talk of hugging cows and uh, such infantile ideas. The cow deserves much more. All these token gestures will not help her. Randomly hugging a cow and clicking a pic is good only for likes and comments. It will not do her any good. So it's quite very possible that what you are saying that may annoy those moral policers. Would you like to give another name to this February 14th? Instead of Kauhalpe. Why should I give it another name? Why should it be important at all? Huh? Why should any random day be named? It's a day, like any other day. Why does it need to have another name? Huh? It's a day. You sound a bit afraid. Of what? Not afraid, but uh, 
quite very possible that uh, the courage comes from clarity and yeah i like that lack like that clarity i don't know in terms of the love and relationships so that i mean see what can they do you know so do i what we are talking of and who we are referring to yeah it's okay let them come